that was uh, week three, day one. Ouch. Um, <laughs> some solid intervals in there. I think they were about 60 second intervals at 175% of FTP. I'll have to look it up. But um, yeah, they were hard. First day back after a rest day. Uh, legs took a minute to warm up. Uh, and then had that long constant power uh, that I've been seeing on these longer rides um, that I said before was boring me. I think what it came down to was, well, yeah, it was boring me, but I've found little tricks to try and try and alleviate that by changing up my cadence to try and match the power still. And uh, like I said last time, I'm learning to stand up. So overall, week three, day one, good to go. This is week three, day two. It was a 60 minute, pretty easy workout with two sprints in the middle of it. Generally, not much to talk about, but it was nice to have there because yesterday we had a two hour workout um, and then I did a 90 minute mountain bike ride. So it's nice to have just this chill ride for the second day. Um, figured out, so the app crashed on me again. Um, again, I'm using the Beta Trainer Road app, so you kind of have to, that's what, how things go with beta software. But I did figure out that if you go to your career tab and then click on the ride, there is a resume option. So I did that today and it worked out great. I didn't have to redo any part of the ride, which was good because I was about halfway through it. And I got people waiting for me, so. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Got it. Week three, day three. Yay. Um, workouts are going good. The Trainer Road beta software seems to crash every time I use it. It's beta software. I've said this every time. I'm not going to knock them for having beta software crash, but I enjoy the fact that they've fixed the the overlays so I don't have to guess what the instructions are trying to tell me to do uh, as far as coaching messages go. So I'm gonna stick with it. I've gotten pretty good about loading it back up, hitting restart or uh, resume, sorry, don't hit restart, resume, and it kicks right back into it as soon as you're pedaling. So that's good. I'm glad I found that. I'm glad they, glad they have that feature. Um, the other thing I found was that when it crashes, it uploads to Strava because I've got the ride sync set up to do that. And then it won't upload the completed ride at the end because probably it's the same ride ID or something. I don't know. Probably some back end thing that has a conflict that prevents duplicate rides from being uploaded over and over and over again, right? So there's actually a resync button in the same menu as the restart area so when your ride is done you go back in and you hit resync and it'll sort the Strava situation out not terribly hard so that's today tomorrow's a just a 45 minute ride I blows my mind today was two hours so tomorrow's a 45 minute ride and then I have a standing Friday social ride that I will also do so that'll be that and we'll charge into the weekend. Cool, see you next time. Week three, day four was an easy ride, 45 minutes. Easily the shortest ride I've done on here so far. All below FTP, um, just kind of a short endurance ride, I think is what they called it. Um, just a weird oxymoron. Um, yeah. App crashed again, it's becoming regular, right around 16 minutes, so I don't know if they have an issue right there. So, not much to say about today. Um, I'm going to go on a ride with my buddy later today, and we'll be back at it tomorrow.
Week three, day five. I had to move my setup uh, because, um, <laughs> well, doesn't matter. Move my setup. This is a little bit better setup, so <clears throat> pretty happy with it. Uh, went for a mountain bike ride this morning, and then this was an hour and 45 minute workout tonight. Um, it was one of those sweet spot workouts with the sprints at the beginning. So, we've done those before, did that last week. Um, tiring, but good. Uh, the app is crashing every time, just like I said last time. And, uh, so... I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm trying to decide if it's better to see the coaching messages, which aren't in every workout, or if it's better to see, or if it's better to have a continuous workout. Um, which I would say, I maybe lose a minute max now that I'm good at jumping off and <coughs> Um, just getting the, the workout started again. Practice makes perfect. So, anyway, we got one more day tomorrow to work out to end out week three, and then uh, we'll kind of wrap the week up. Week three, workout number six in the bag. Uh, it was a two hour workout, um, an hour and a half of which was at 90% of FTP, which was. Uh, hard. I'm not going to lie. It was hard and um, when I looked into this workout going into it I figured I was going to get bored so I switched up my normal routine which I just realized I haven't really talked to you guys about yet. So um, the first week I said I was getting bored with workouts. I solved that by um, that first week I was listening to a lot of podcasts and uh, switched it up to some EDM music, which has a nice tempo for getting this kind of stuff done, and I like it, so that doesn't hurt. Um, but I saw this workout was going to be a long, kind of steady pace, and so switched it up to watch some Netflix. So kind of the opposite of, of Netflix and chill. <laughs> Netflix and work hard. Uh, so that worked out pretty good. Um, I don't... I think it's only going to work on workouts where, you know, I can get into a consistent pace and then just keep a, a uh, cursory glance on the power stuff. So that worked out pretty good. Um, but this was workout six, which means the end of week three. And uh, yeah, week three's gone really well. Um, used the beta software all week. Um, actually, oh. Yeah, it didn't crash today. I think I might have figured that out. Um, this has to do with where I do my workouts and how strong the Wi-Fi signal is, and if Trainer Road checks in. And it might check in, and if it has a bad connection, it might uh, crash, because I think I caused it to crash a couple times by shutting the Wi-Fi off. Yeah, so that's just a theory. But it's the working theory right now. So, no crashes today. Um, and, yeah. So back to a week week three wrap up. It was a good week. It was a hard week. Um, lots of long workouts. I get Monday off. And we go back into my routine. Um, a couple people have commented that... Um, they were concerned that I wouldn't be able to do the workouts on the rollers. Um, that's worked out great. I've actually gotten a lot stronger on the rollers by doing them. Um, no, uh, that's not true. I was going to say no real progress on the rollers, but um, I got to graduate to this side of my office, slash basement, slash food storage. Um, <laughs> and got to do that because I can start without a... Um, a wall prompt now, so I can just stand on the rails of the rollers and just get going, which means I could go work in front of my desk. I can still reach my desk in case of emergencies, just to grab it, but 
I don't really need that the counterbalance anymore to get started. So that's cool. Um, trainer Road though, um, this looks to be a hard week. I think next week is a, a built-in sort of pulling back week. So you build up over three weeks and then it looks like you pull back a little on the fourth week. And then the beginning of the fifth week, I start uh, that FTP test. So um, I'll be doing that. I'm thinking I might try and live stream that if people are interested in that. So leave a comment down below if you're interested in that. I um, would probably do it on, uh, let's see here, this goes up on Friday. I would do it like the Tuesday, Tuesday evening after this goes up. August 22nd. I'm thinking like um, right around 6 p.m. Mountain Time is what I'm thinking. So yeah, if you're interested in that, I'm thinking about doing a live stream. Um, it's gonna take some doing, but I think I can do it. Recruit a friend to help me with the computer side while I do my FTP test. So yeah. That's it from week three. I'm uh, signing off. See you next week.